some people wonder what they should do with this China market fund uh, or should they invest in the China market fund so to me you should ask yourself where China economy will go for the next five to ten years if you find that China market will continue to do well uh, will continue to remain the giant economy in this world then for that matter you should continue to invest into this China market fund okay especially if you have invested uh, for that matter you should even top up uh, the money to invest into it uh, but okay <laughs> there's a but you got to make sure that the China equity fund that you have invested into fall into the category of best of breed okay because if it's not best of breed chances are uh, it may not be able to capture China uh, growth opportunity that well okay so like in the case of Vigman we do not use one fund uh, we use three China equity fund from three different fund house to capture China business uh, economy growth opportunity so for that matter I hope uh, I have given you some pointer how should you evaluate China equity market uh, what should you do now the market drop 30 over percent and what kind of fund that you should do or how many funds you should consider to really capture the market opportunity effectively for your typical client that you advise uh, let's say a typical retired client uh, yes what sort of uh, uh, portfolio you advise uh, mm. for a client who, who who is already on auto retirement mode uh, mm. i mean the, the expenses is already sufficiently generated from yes. let's say the portfolio so what sort of you would you be uh, advising are you talking about you or talking about where to invest the money uh, not talking about where to invest, I mean, mm. you really mentioned earlier to diversify your, your investment. So I'm mm. talking about the entire portfolio yield that one mm. should be looking mm. for a retired person. Okay, so you're talking about how many percent should that be, is it? Yeah, that's right. Mm. I would say, uh, David, this is a good question. Uh, for some people may think that if you are retiree, you should be very conservative you should put all your money into fixed deposit you know, so then your, your money is safe uh, unfortunately uh, to get a return about 1% or 2% is not safe because uh, you are facing a major problem from inflation so to address the issue of this inflation I would say to get a return between 7 to 9% will be fair okay because uh, on one end you'll be able to uh, hit, protect your wealth okay, uh, from inflation uh, erosion uh, say for example if inflation is 4% for that matter and you achieve say 8% so 4% can be used to preserve the real value of your wealth and another 4% can be transformed into income uh, to maintain your retirement lifestyle so I would say 8 to 9 percent kind of return will be ideal for a retiree's investment portfolio if money is important to you please remember to subscribe to my channel